In our second special report, we look at a common sight in ag country, corn. The tall, tasseled, enigmatic plant that's the official state vegetable of Illinois. Here in Mississippi, it's one of our biggest row crops, and if you drive through the Delta, you'll spot fields as far as the eye can see. But what makes corn such an important commodity? What makes this plant so important? Here's a deeper look. Corn, a common sight in ag country. You can travel miles and see nothing but graceful stalks swaying in the breeze. In Mississippi, it's the fourth highest commodity with over 129 million bushels produced in 2021. Not only that, but nationwide, U.S. corn growers produced 15.1 billion bushels last year, according to the USDA. So, what makes this plant so unique? What exactly is corn? Corn is a, is a temperate plant that is grown in, in areas of significant rainfall, uh, but moderate conditions overall. It likes uh, mild temperatures, um, plentiful rainfall, but not abundant rainfall like you'd have in tropical regions. And it's, a, it's an annual grass plant, which means that we plant it in the spring. It has a relatively long growing season. It's about 120 days or about four months in length. It's planted early in the spring. It grows through the summer. And in Mississippi, it's harvested late in the summer. In areas, other, air, other regions of the United States, it would be in the fall. Like most row crops, corn has several growth stages experts refer to. VE through VT measure the plant's growth from seedling to fully grown and tasseling. R1 through R6 are the reproductive stages that produce the corn on cobs we're familiar with. A, a corn plant is unique in that it has a separate male and female part on the plant. The tassel is a male part that sheds the pollen and the ear contains silks which receive the pollen and are basically the female organ on the plant. Corn is somewhat unique in that it cross-pollinates so the neighbor, neighboring plants actually provide the pollen in many cases to uh, pollinate the ears on, on the plants in the adjacent rows. So that's why you oftentimes need to plant more than one or two rows in your garden because you need some physical space in order to facilitate the movement of that pollen to the, to the ears on a separate plant in order for it to pollinate. There are many kinds of corn varieties, but the one most commonly grown in the U.S. is not what you'd find in the grocery store. Most of the corn that's grown in fields is what we call dent corn. It is developed because it, it produces a lot of starch, has a good feed value. Ears of corn that you would buy at the grocery store is gonna be sweet corn. The type of plant is the same, it's just bred for a different purpose and it, it, it has completely different characteristics as far as the kernels and the, the content of those kernels. It has less starch in the kernels and more sugar content, more water and it just tastes better. It's a lot more palatable to humans. Sweet corn is picked during the middle of the grown or during the middle of the reproductive stages before the kernels are completely mature. Corn that is um, harvested for, for normal use, you let the kernels completely mature and then actually dry down to a to a moisture that is suitable for long-term storage for use in bins and other facilities that hold grain. So the vast majority of corn grown in the U.S. is used as animal feed, but there are some other well-known uses for corn, such as ethanol or biodiesel, corn syrup, a common sweetener, and the starch itself, commonly used in cooking. But it's not just feed and industrial use that makes it popular. It also works well with other crops. Corn is used in Mississippi primarily as a crop that, that complements our other two primary row crops in Mississippi in a crop rotation system. So corn is used and is grown in a field one year and then we rotate that field the next year to cotton or soybeans generally. So that helps eliminate a lot of the uh, pest issues, whether it be weeds, diseases, or insect issues. It eliminates a lot of those or greatly reduces the likelihood of those being a significant problem. Plus it has a significant benefit to both of the crops involved in the rotation system, which enhances the productivity of, of those crops as well. So what are the major problems farmers face when growing corn? Corn is a little bit unique in that uh, it is much more sensitive to what we call stand issues or emergence issues. Not only do we have to deal with having restrictions to plant the crop, but corn is very intolerant or very sensitive to 
issues that, you know, where we lose a certain percentage of the, of the seedlings that don't successfully emerge or they're delayed and stunted during the, the planting process and, and uh, the management and environmental restrictions that occur shortly after seeding the crop. Corn is a valuable ag commodity, not only because of its versatility, but because with a little care and good weather, it can produce an abundance of grain. It's a productive crop too that, that produces a lot higher volume of grain than a lot of our other row crops that are grown. Not only is it a high quality source of feed, it, it produces a high volume as well. So that's corn, a major player in the ag markets, grown all over the world, valued for its high output and many different uses.